I was trying to do one earlier. I thought they're shooting were... at us. Uh, oh. Hey! We're doing quests! Stop shooting at us! We have nothing you'd want. We're just trying to farm ancient coins. Pirates steal, they barter, and they lie. And the duo sloped crew of Harpoon's Glory was very good at the lying part. The captain, Five Eyed Frank, loves two things in this world treasure and napping. His crewmate, Arthur, whose body was partially taken over by a tree, is a hard worker with a strong, trusted heart. Today, the crew's story started at Crooked Masts. Hello, what do you need? We're. Good, we are currently farming yeah, ancient coins. They claim to know and be utilizing a method to farm ancient coins by spawning ancient skeletons, the rarest skeletons in Sea of Thieves. In fact, a few moments later, they shared this info. By the way, ancient skeletons can be heard by the sound of coins jingling when they surface. They have a 20 second lifespan, but after that you must kill them, otherwise you won't get coins. I've experienced six. All six have gotten away. They claimed to have spawned six ancient skeletons using this method and knew a lot about what encountering an ancient skeleton was like. So what proceeded would be their demonstration and method to farm ancient coins. Now I must be clear and upfront with you, at no point while I was with the crew of Harpoon's Glory did they successfully encounter nor farm ancient coins. It was all a lie, intentional or not. The process of farming ancient coins yielded only negative results. So let me take you on the same journey I was taken on. The four steps of what I was led to believe was a surefire method to yield ancient coins. Step one, have a ship battle. While digging up gold hoarder chests on the crooked masts, suddenly they heard cannon fire. Five-Eyed Frank tried reasoning with the shooting crew, explaining they were doing quests and farming ancient coins and should thus far be left alone. Unfortunately, this may have only further incentivized the enemy sloop. They exploded a keg onto my ship, giving the crew of Harpoon's Glory enough time to jump aboard their own sloop and prepare for battle. Arthur got the ship going and was immediately killed by the oppositional cannons. Five-Eyed Frank wasn't there to res him though, because he had just loaded a keg onto a rowboat and was trailing the path of the enemy sloop. The sloop though was flying, way faster than a rowboat and Harpoon's glory was already not doing too hot. Luckily, the enemy sloop turned around, and while Five-Eyed Frank tried to catch them on the turnaround, he ended up just being shot at, causing the keg in him to explode. Another highlight of this battle was when Harpoon's glory was getting wailed with cannonballs, killing Five-Eyed Frank, who was at the cannons. Arthur then, instead of giving Five-Eyed Frank the res, continued to fire aimless cannon shots on top of Five-Eyed Frank's body. I assumed that this had to be part of the ancient skeleton farming method. Things looked bad so many times for Harpoon's glory in this fight. However, all of a sudden, the enemy sloop just either scuttled or sunk due to no one on the ship repairing anything, meaning Harpoon's glory was victorious. Step 2. Complete a world event. Five-Eyed Frank was excited over the ship battle's victory, however Arthur was a little bit upset at him and went so far as to try to stab him due to some of the choices that Five-Eyed Frank made in that fight. It was seemingly all part of the ancient skeleton plan though, and step two was to complete a world event. Lucky for them, a skeleton fort was up at Hidden Spring Keep. The skeleton fort went as they usually do, with one player doing all of the work and the other standing passively. In fact, Five-Eyed Frank wasn't even just standing passively, he was straight up asleep, taking the world's longest pirate nap. He napped through the regular skeleton waves, he napped through the ashen captains, and he even napped through the mutinous helmsmen. But one thing he would never nap through is the treasure. Arthur brought treasure down straight from the vault and woke him right up by placing the treasure chest right in front of Five-Eyed Frank's face. Five-Eyed Frank woke up and began to help move Luke for just a few moments before falling back asleep. Step 3. The Sea Dog's Tavern Ritual 
Step 3 was the most important part of spawning an ancient skeleton as far as Harpoon's glory was leading me to believe. This was a ritual that must take place at Sea Dog's Tavern. I'm going to call it and refer to it as a ritual because that's the only way I can possibly explain this super weird interaction I saw at Sea Dog's Tavern. But before getting to the Sea Dog's Tavern, some skelly ships. And just as they were almost to Sea Dog's Tavern, a third wave of the skeleton fleet with the galleon popped up and did some crazy maneuvers around the rocks. Harpoon's Glory anchored their ship, leaving them practically defenseless against the skeleton galleon. But hilariously enough, the galleon was so out of control, it took a few more shots then disappeared behind Sea Dog's Tavern to never be seen again. I kept assuming it was going to pop back out of the other side of Sea Dog's Tavern, but it just didn't. It just disappeared. After Harpoon's Glory was repaired, instead of going south to sell or going to look to the galleon to finish it off, Arthur began to unload some of their treasure onto the dock of Sea Dog's Tavern. Perhaps this was in a bid to appease to the Lords of the Sea of Thieves? Arthur then picked up a skull and walked around the outside of the tavern, seemingly with purpose, as if he was looking for something in particular. Now, it was possible they thought this was an outpost, but if that was the case, why did they only unload some of the loot? That's why the only way that any of this could make sense to me was to accept that it had to have been an ancient coin farming ritual that was part of the process to spawn an ancient skeleton. I felt at any moment an ancient skelly was going to spawn, but alas, none did. With the truth that no ancient skeletons were going to spawn setting in, Arthur was on his ship one moment and the next completely vanished, just like the skeleton galleon moments before, never to be seen again. And reality was beginning to set in for me too. These pirates hadn't been showing me a specific and effective way to farm ancient coins, no. In fact, reality was far less exciting than that. It turned out they were probably just pirates who did things kind of weird, which is okay, but I felt like they had successfully sold me on a lie. Step four, maybe not a lie? With just Five-Eyed Frank remaining aboard the ship, he sailed on over to nearby Reaper's hideout to sell a single chest of loot before returning to his ship to bring all of the rest of the loot to Plunder Outpost. At this point, there was a strong feeling of disappointment and betrayal. A question as to whether or not Harpoon's Glory had ever even seen an ancient skeleton at all. Five-Eyed Frank stole all of his loot and threw down a new voyage. The voyage was a tutorial for Merchant's Alliance missions? Yet another strange act, made even stranger by Five-Eyed Frank's message. Free rep time. Reputation, of course, is the leveling system used to level up each emissary. I mean, sure, catching and selling a single chicken would definitely give some rep and be easy, but with the quest table changes made last season, technically all rep from voyages is now free, and I could think of other merchant voyages that would probably give better rep for your time. Like, literally any of them. But maybe Frank knew something I didn't. Maybe this was the final step in farming ancient skellies. My heart couldn't take the roller coaster ride of speculation and trying to make sense of what I was seeing any longer. Who knows? Maybe Five Eyed Frank got those ancient skellies after all. Maybe he's bathing in ancient coins as we speak. Or maybe he went on to become Pirate Legend exclusively through single chicken fetch quests. But for me, at this point, I was okay with not knowing the truth. Five-Eyed Frank set off, for his adventure never rests, except when he's at a skeleton fort.